Camtech Gwalior is a multidisciplinary centralized training center under the Ministry of Railways. This center develops technical publications and manuals on various railway assets and provides training through seminars and webinars, thereby assisting the maintenance team in improving the reliability and efficiency of the system. This video is related to the maintenance and testing of Auxiliary Transformer AT, and AC Distribution Board ACDB, under the series of Electrical Assets Maintenance in 132 kV to 27 kV Conventional Railway Traction Substations. Power supply for all electrical loads of substation is supplied by two numbers, single phase auxiliary transformers connected to both end of 25 kV common bus bar. The output of auxiliary transformers are connected with double pole switch fuse units of appropriate rating to ACDB in such a manner that only one supply is fed to the copper from the A of ACDB through a changeover switch. This supply is further extended from the AC bus bar to both the battery charges, control room lighting load, C&R panel, yard lighting load, and heater circuit of TR, CB, BM, etc. through fuses. This figure shows the complete scheme of AC supply through ACDB inside the control room. ATs are provided on the mounting structure with DO fuse assembly. These auxiliary transformers and ACDBs are available in various rating. The maintenance of the AT is carried out in different time periods by different schedules like monthly, quarterly, half yearly, annually and periodic overhauling or POH. Monthly Schedule in the monthly schedule perform activities like checking the oil level in the conservator, condition of silica gel, fuse and HTLT bushing terminal connections, etc. Quarterly schedule. In the quarterly schedule perform activities like checking of condition of DO fuse and sound of equipment, etc. in addition to monthly schedule activities. Half yearly schedule. In the half-yearly schedule perform activities like measuring the insulation resistance value and checking the BDV of oil etc. in addition to monthly and quarterly schedule activities. Annually schedule In annually schedule perform activities like measuring winding continuity, checking the acidity of transformer oil and conduct ratio test etc. in addition to half-yearly, quarterly and monthly schedule activities. Periodic overhauling of AT Periodic overhauling of AT shall be done after 7 to 10 years of service as given in table. Maintenance of ACDB The maintenance of the ACDB is carried out in different time periods by different schedules like quarterly, half-yearly and annually. Quarterly schedule in the quarterly schedule, perform activities like measuring the temperature at termination points and checking of condition of fuse etc. Half yearly schedule. In the half yearly schedule perform activities like check and tight all cable termination etc. in addition to quarterly schedule activities. Annually schedule. In annually schedule perform activities like measuring the insulation resistance value of cable and checking of cable end etc. in addition to half yearly and quarterly schedule activities. Safety precautions before maintenance of AT. For the safety of equipment and personnel, ensure that switch off the power supply by the opening circuit breaker and isolation to be done by opening isolators and then provide discharge rod at 80 under maintenance and discharge the residual charges. And also ensure the use of personal protective equipment for safety such as electrical grade shoes, helmets, etc. There are many activities that have to be performed during the maintenance of the auxiliary transformer. Check the tank, conservator, bushing, oil level indicators, gasket of tank, terminal box and fasteners for any defect, leakage and clean all. Check the oil level in the conservator tank.
Check the condition of silica gel and oil in cup of breather. Check the gap setting of arcing rod of bushing. Check terminal box, cable connections, gaskets cover. Check tightness of connections of HV and LV sides as well as earthing. Check condition of DO fuse barrel and fuse element. Check HT jumpers and lugs for loose and flash mark. Painting to be done if the color of the tank is faded or rusted. There are many activities that have to be performed during the maintenance of ACDB. Check and clean the panel outside and inside with a dry cloth. Check the functioning of voltmeter. Check and tight earth and cable termination points on both ends. Check the LED indication and LT cable. Check and plug the holes to avoid entry of moisture and insects. Paint to be done if color of panel is faded or rusted. Testing of AT and LT cables. As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be carried out at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Insulation resistance test. Precautions before testing. While performing the tests following precautions shall be ensured. Insulation resistance test of AT. The main objective of this test is to know the condition of the insulation of windings of AT. This is a DC voltage injection test method and for this test we require a 500 volt and 2.5 kV insulation tester. Steps for testing. Here we are conducting a test for HV to earthing only. For this test, connect the line terminal of the tester to HV and the earth terminal of the tester to earthing. After that check all the connections and select the DC voltage level to 2.5 kV of the tester. Finally, the setup is ready to perform the test. Now on pressing the test button of the tester, 2.5 kV DC voltage is applied across HV and earthing. As a result, leakage current will flow in the circuit and the tester will measure this leakage current and calculates the insulation resistance by the ratio of applied voltage and measured leakage current. Insulation resistance value may be noted from the display. The same test to be conducted for the combination of windings as shown in this table. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Winding Continuity Measure and record winding continuity on all tapings with multimeter or 500 volt mega. Insulation resistance test of LV cables. Measure and record IR value of cable by 500 volt mega between AT to ICDP switch. ICDP switch to control panel. The insulation resistance values shall not be less than 2 mega ohms. Note, if found less than the supplier specified, investigate the issue and rectify it. Voltage Ratio or Turn Ratio Test The ratio test is used to confirm that the winding turn ratio at all taps is consistent with the voltage ratio as shown on the nameplate and also confirm that the tap changer leads are correctly connected or not. This is an AC voltage test and to conduct this test ratio test kit is used. Steps for testing For this test, open the earthing terminal of HV winding and LV winding. LV winding should be open circuited. Now connect the single phase to 30 volt AC supply to test kit and connect HV lead of test kit to HV winding and LV lead of test kit to LV windings. Also connect the earth terminal of test kit to transformer earthing. After that, check all the connections and switch on the single phase AC supply. Now to 30 volt, AC voltage is injected to HV winding and a voltage is induced in LV winding which is measured by test kit and kit calculate the turn ratio and percentage error. Conduct the test for all the taps of AT. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Oil Testing 
it is important to understand that transformers all not only acts as a heat transfer medium but it is also a part of the transformers insulation system. It is therefore very important to periodically perform tests on the oil to determine the healthiness of the insulating oil, which in turn indicates the healthiness of the transformer. Breakdown Voltage Test with this test the dielectric strength of the insulating oil is tested or in other words we measure the voltage at which the oil fails electrically. This indicates the status of oil contamination or moisture present in the oil. Step for testing. This test is conducted by placing oil sample between two electrodes and AC voltage is applied gradually by not more than by 2 kV per second till the time electrodes have enough potential and start to conduct through the oil. The limit value of this test is as per IS 1866-2017 given in the table. Acidity Test This test is used to determine the acid content in the oil. New transformer oil generally has no acid content but may develop because of oxidation and contamination. The test is carried out by measuring the amount of potassium hydroxide KOH in NG required to neutralize the acid in 1 gram of oil. The limit value of this test is as per IS 1866-2017 given in the table. Water Content Test The moisture in the oil is calculated by using the weight of the moisture by the weight of the oil. The moisture content shall be as low as possible since having more moisture in the oil decreases the insulating dielectric strength and flashovers can happen. The limit value of this test is as per IS 1866-2017 given in the table. Thermography Thermography is used to predict or identify defects and to rectify the same by carrying out preventive maintenance before in-service failure of equipment. Since analysis is based on the relative temperature of subcomponents instead of ambient temperature, therefore, images of the complete assembly should be taken. Checking should be carried out at the night time and the concerned component shall be under load. Limit for temperature variation and duration for rectification of issue is given in the table. Testing data. Testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference.